Hey guys, and welcome back to Face Caveopolis. Today, we're going to be going balls deep into power. So, we may as well just get straight on into it. Alright, so last time we made ourselves an energizing orb. And we've been doing a little bit of grinding off screen. Mostly just smelting a bunch of things. We were running low on silver. And since we don't have enough silver being produced, lead is really useful for it. Because in an induction smelter, lead puts out silver nuggets. So that's a little bit of a trickle way to get in. But we also were getting it too slowly, so we had to build a new induction smelter. On the plus side, though, we have gotten a nice little chunk of electrum and a decent chunk of dielectric paste. So today we're going to be moving on to making ourselves an energizing rod, some uranite, and even a... We're going to go with the diamond gear. Which will help us make seal casings, which is going to be used for a lot of the applied logistics and mechanism stuff. I don't think it's actually used for too much in power itself, but it's something else to be put through the system. So we'll just get that out of the way straight away. And we're also going to process all of our diamond pieces into diamonds themselves. Now also most of these things only require one gear so we'll just we'll start off with one for now. In the meantime we're going to make ourselves an energizing rod which I think we have most of just lying around at this point anyway. So we need the energizing rod starter, we need more basic capacitors. Basic capacitors, normal capacitors have just been shrunk down a little bit. And of course we are missing blocks of redstone. We'll get two lots. Now I'll be honest, I tried to get, let's see. I tried to get things set up so that this would be somewhat ready to go when we started off today, but I was having some issues getting the energy energizing orb to work, which is always a little bit of a problem. What I didn't realize is you don't plug the energizing orb straight into the system. I thought, hey, we'll just be able to pipe it on in. We'll be fine. God damn, I hate this system sometimes. Son of a bitch. Alright. Yes, we're searching. Taking that, we're taking that. And we want one of these things. So let's search for the vertical. Weirdly enough, it's not showing up. What the hell is this thing even called? Hmm. Hmm. There you are. You're a dielectric rod. There we go. Now we got you. We can make ourselves an energizing rod. Now if we look at this, it used to provide power to the energizing orb, which if I had seen that, would have saved me a lot of hassle. But if I'm not mistaken, which I seem to be, we able to plug that in. But apparently we need something else to plug this thing in. Whew, that's very frustrating. So we're going to back it up a little bit. Because I swear, here we go. Maybe, maybe, we might be able to use this. Flux networks. So 
So if we can get ourselves flux point, flux plug, flux controller, and a flux storage. So the flux point provides energy to the adjacent blocks. So we're going to plug it in somewhere around here. We can plug that into that. Flux plug receives energy from adjacent blocks passively, adding energy to my network. It's going to get plugged into here. We've still got no network selected. Flux controller can sit. So you can sit over here. Hopefully that's still close enough. Create a new network. Let's make it our network. Uh, I like the purple. But since this is my old account, for some reason I never swap over. It's now Fay Hunters. Very nice. Create a new network. Why are you not allowing me? And does that work purple? Give it a little password. Now, if we go into these, we can make it this. And hopefully we should be able to do the same thing here. So that's now putting out energy to over here. Hmm. So that should be working. But we do not seem to be getting any energy out. Would we run out of charge downstairs? Shouldn't have run out of charge downstairs. No. So why are you not putting out energy? Hmm. Maybe alternatively, we can grab this. We'll plug it into the back of here. Will that transfer energy out? We got one plug, we got one port, we got one controller. We don't have a storage. Uh, but we do have a storage here. Maybe if we get rid of this to start with. We connect this. This network. Why are you not? Why is this not connect, collecting energy for me? I think we just weren't connected to the power. Right, so we have some input. That's getting charged up. And there we go. So apparently we need to change systems here. And our next objective on our current quest line, which is Euronite, is to get Euronite, which requires us to put some Euronite ore or something of that kind, or a uranium ingot. We don't have uranium ingots, but we do have uranium ores. So we'll pull out two of these. And if we put them in an induction smelter, do we get something bonus? No. And by looks things, I don't think we can even use an induction smelter. So we'll chuck these in here. We were also building off some more inbar because it's always useful. We've also expanded the amount of drills we have by 64. So we've got uranium ingots, which was another quest for another quest line. Should be able to hit that up, and that has converted it already. Nice and simple. While we're off stream next, we're going to move this around a little bit, but that's still the next thing. 
and it would be really useful to be getting the power manual before this point. Right, so, we want the reactor. We need four uranite, and a bunch of our other basic stuff. So, immediately, four uranite is only two uranium ingots. So we don't even have to put more stuff together. Chug this into here. And we'll find ourselves our reactor. I'll be honest, I was about to make me make us a thernator before this all happened. We need tiny capacitors and a casing. Alright, all of which easy enough to do. So we'll start with the capacitors. Three sets. We'll use two of them. Then we're going to need to make the casing. We're out of horizontals. Plus side, we have everything we need for that as well. This one is going rather smoothly at least. Now that I've said that, everything's going to screw up again. Cool, cool. And that gives us everything we need for a reactor. Or four. For some reason, this makes us four reactors. It's going to be used to make a lot of power. We're then going to use reactors with large capacitors to make us some upgrade versions of this. Right, so we're going to need more capacitors. Fair enough. We're going to need to make more redstone as well. Or more blocks of redstone. Alright. It's gonna make a fuckload of stuff. Plug it back in. We can always bake it, uh, break it down if need be. But even one more set is enough to finish this part off. Because those two lots gives us four lots. Which is enough to finish off. No, it's not. We need a little bit more urine. Urine. Which means we're going to need a bunch more uranium. Right, in the meantime, we're going to get ourselves our gear and get working on the next things. So we made ourselves a diamond gear. We need to make some enriched steel or empowered steel. Energized steel. That is a block of energized steel, or we can put some electrum and some steel into that power. So we're going to chuck in 10, and hopefully I have enough steel. Yes, we do. It's going to be a good chunk of power being used up for this, but I'm sure it'll be worth it. Can I take things back? That's good. Alright, so we're going to have to do this one piece at a time, which sucks, but oh well. You can also chuck in one more of these. That finishes off Energized Steel. Which allows us to make some energized casings. We just need some more glass balls. Alright. Now, we can use these to make ourselves the next tier. Go out too. And, while that's going, we'll get more stuff going. And now, since we've gotten that done, we can get some steel casing. I don't know why I can't spell steel. Hopefully we have the glass. Right, so, we also need to make the hardened reactor, and then we can slowly but surely start working our way through stuff. For example, we can make blazing crystals. 
It's just one blaze rod in there. We need 16 of them all up. I get most of it, but when you've already sent some of the same item, it doesn't make sense that it can't come through. Right, so that also unlocks the next tier. Okay. Not enough blocks, you need 32 more? You need 32 of these bitches. Right. That that can be an issue for another time. Right now, we unlocked the top of the world, so uh, we're going to the top of the world, bitches. Okay, so we got to the top, finally, and we mined out some top rock. <sighs> Up we go. So, and stone we can make from sandstone, or we can erode some top rock. We're going to be eroding top rock. But, more importantly, we're going to be mining out a buttload of this shit. So, we chuck a stack of top rock into each of those things. And while that's waiting, we're going to be making end portal, which is going to require some enderium. Which means we need a bunch of other stuff. Specifically, we're going to need a pulverizer. Won't be too difficult. We should have everything we've gotten to some extent. Sorry, we should have everything we need, to some extent. Just gonna A that. Right. One step at a time. One piston. So we're gonna need some tin. You just bulk make that stuff. <laughs> then we can just request everything. We're good to go. Hopefully. <laughs> Copy gears and some redstone blocks still. Also start cooking some meat. Start push keep pushing everything through. Then we need two copy gears in with. No, we're just going to take all of it and make it into a bunch of copy gears. Worst comes to worst, I can always smell more. That's another full, full lot of energy. What's the capacity on one of these things? So we want a basic block storage. Stores 2 million energy. So, with everything combined, we've got 3, 4, 6 
million energy stored away. Which is honestly quite preposterous. Right. So we got a pulverizer. We're also going to need tons. Take all of the diamonds out. Press all the pieces as well. Put those back. And we can now install the pulverizer into the system back here, I suppose. So set it up here and we'll go grab another energy cable. We can put the diamond into the pulverizer. That's still generating up more energy. Each of these in a pulverizer. This gives one dust. Fine. Now in one of these. We need some ender dust or an ender pearl and some lead. Which conveniently we just picked up a bunch of lead. We do not, however, have... What the fuck was that? That goat just ran me! What a dick. We do not, however, have any... Uh, any of the ender stuff. Uh... And the only way I can think of getting any right now without just going hunting Enderman is with Prediction Matrix. So we're going to slap this into here, and we're going to go hunt some Enderman. One pathetic sub-story later. Okay, so in a this took longer than I'd like to admit kind of situation, we honestly kind of gave up on getting enough uh, Eyes of Ender. Because... I realized it's going to take 36 all up. And now that I see this, we've actually got enough for 32. God damn it. To make the port. And while we're using this, and this chewed through almost all of our energy. Like, this is slowly recharging. This is almost empty. It used a lot. So, we're going to convert out everything we need for our other stuff. Then we'll turn it back on. Which just means we're going to have to reconnect some pipes. But in a second, we'll be able to finish off another chapter with the more ores. Sorry, even more ores? Even more ores. Wrapping up down here. Being that the only thing left in level 5 is uranite, which is going to take a while to get through, considering we need blaze crystals for the next part. So that is rather easy to get through at this point. All we need for that is a bunch of blades. Just a ridiculous amount of blades. Do not mean to take one. There's no point in one. We can now just convert this over. Just take a little bit longer than the other things. We can also drop all this extra crap we've got on us. We did have to go do a little bit of mining because we ran out of prediction matrices. Which, yes, that is the correct term. And make them into... Uh, we had to get more shiny crystals, whatever the hell they're called, the shards, more bright shards. But we now have everything we need to make our first piece of portal. And that means that down in the up we go, we're off getting the dragon egg. 
means we've got to go kill a dragon. But that's not happening just yet because all of that took... All that we've made so far was used to make one. We need 12. So that's going to take a while. That being said, we also need an extra ender pearl for each of those things. Which is why this is going to take a long, long time for everything to go through. Did something run out of fuel? Yes. Okay. We'll grab out all that tar. It's good to always... No, this is just burning through it all. Uh, it's good to always keep track of how much energy you've got coming and going. We're also going to look at making a bunch of basic reactors. Because for now, that's the... Sorry, not even basic. We want starter reactors. Because from what it was saying before, we need 36 of any kind of reactor piece we're using. All of so, we're going to need to make all of this stuff. And it's going to take a little while to get there. Unfortunately, we only have one load of redstone. Of course we do. And we're out of redstone dust. Redstone comes out of here. We just need to flip these. Because the first one is always getting more of the ore forming water than the second. So this should increase the amount of redstone that we're acquiring. Unfortunately, it does mean it's going to take us a little bit longer to get everything we need for it. So out of mind, of course. Like two full stacks, and just chuck them straight in the induction cylinders. Gives us more, and eventually we'll end up with more than we need. Now, while we're waiting, we have gained access to a uh, mechanism soda section, but we do not have a block of diamond currently. We do, however, have enough gold to make a block of gold. We'll just quickly throw that together. Pull out whatever we've got in diamonds, which is enough for six. And that's going to slowly but surely generate more stuff up. Because this inscriber needs a lot of shit. And how is Fluix not one of the first things that it tells you how to make? Damn. PC parts. This, it, this really should be part of one of these other sections. I've got a strange feeling that we can't even make all of this properly yet. Oh wait, we just haven't gotten this unlocked. Cool. Alright, so we can make these parts of it, but we haven't unlocked this, which means we haven't, or this, so we haven't unlocked the rest of this stuff. We can't get that until we get Osmium, which we need to get to the end to get. So, unfortunately, just because of resource limitations, that's going to finish us off for the day. There's going to be a lot of AFK and grinding while we're away from us all. We need a block of Niotic Crystal. Sorry, we need diamonds. Oh, the first one we can make them. We'll burn one diamond because, like I said, AFK a lot. I'm going to assume that other part's going to be an emerald while that's happening. Pull out all of the emerald we've got as well. If they are asking us for a block of emerald, would be good, but can't always be so lucky. So 
We're talking emerald, which is going to take a million energy. And, yeah, that's going to wrap us up for today. So, I hope you've all enjoyed what you've seen today. This is where the mod pack gets a little bit grindy. And that's saying something, considering how grindy as hell it's been so far. If you have enjoyed what you've seen, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Smash that thumbs up. And we'll be back next week. Same fair time, same fair place. We hope to see you all there.